Welcome back. We're on step three, and that is the Unify Nano HD access point. guys so if you ever watched the other two videos this is actually the third in a series of four setup videos first one is going to be the gateway second one we did the switch now we're in the first of the access points to get wireless access into this unify system so this is the nano hd from ubiquity and i figured we're going to start by well opening it up seeing everything that comes with it uh, that way we can get a plan in place of actually setting it up. Now I've already actually ran all my cables up into my attic space where I'm going to be doing it here. Obviously in a business setting you're going to run it on wherever you need to run it in, in the drop ceiling or if it's uh, an exposed ceiling, however you do it. But that said, let's open it up take a peek inside first. Okay, so I have the box oriented toward you so you can actually see it. Let's pop the guy open. Uh, so we actually have the access point here on top. It does have a single port. Oh, there's the, the quick and easy mount for it that you essentially you put it in place and then you twist into place. It does lock. It kind of latches a little bit. Um, so that's how it's going to go into place. Oh. does have a single Ethernet port there. It's going to be obviously power over Ethernet to power this guy. But very, very slim. Very, very nice in that regard. Uh, so that'll look good on the ceiling. In here as well, looks like we have a plate of some sort. I'll have to take a peek and see if that need, if that's for specific use or whichever. Oh, all right, we have a power injector. So that way if you're not plugging it into a power over ethernet switch, we do have an injector that it comes with. That's pretty neat. I won't need that, but it is nice to handy. And there's the uh, power cord for the injector. Keep that down in there. And then below that we actually have the mounting hardware itself. Uh, just some uh, looks like drywall anchors and some long screws there to set it up. So we do have all the mounting hardware as well as injector and everything. Uh, so depending on your setup you may need the injector. If you're not familiar with how to use these injectors they're really easy. Um, there's one that says LAN connection which that's going to plug into your switch or, or, or router or whatever you're going to do. Then the PoE part there, the red one, that's going to be the cable that actually goes up to the actual AP. This can be placed anywhere in the, in the series, whether it's down by the switch and then the long cable up to the access point or near the access point. Um, so yeah, obviously you're going to want to stick within the regulations for the distances, but that's it. This would be your setup card, which essentially just says download the quick setup guide. You even have a QR code for you to do it. And then we're going to use the Unify Network app to set this guy up. I did look it up real quick. This is the mounting plate, which is obviously, like I said, that's what the, this is going to, the access point actually attached to. This is what you actually mount. So if you're wall mounting, you can actually just put the plate mount directly to it. This is actually a ceiling mount plate. So this is actually where you would put, uh, so if like if you had a ceiling tile, this would sit on the top side of the ceiling tile. This would go sandwich on the bottom. And then you sandwich the two together. This basically gives the rigidity so you're not going to just pull the, the screws right out, right? So this is just uh, a plate for ceiling mounting use. Uh, I won't need this because I'm going to actually mount into, the, I'm mounting into a drywall ceiling. So I'm going to go directly into a floor joist of some kind. But if you didn't uh, have that, you're doing a ceiling tile. This is exactly what you're going to want. So yeah, that's what that is. I'm not using it in this setup video. I'm going to go directly with this. And then uh, if nothing else, I'll put a wood backer. Uh, up in the ceiling so I actually have a uh, good uh, mounting bracket or I'll use drywall anchors. So that's what I'm going to use there for when we actually do the setup part next. That's the location we're going to try to do our install of the Nano HD. And basically we have our plate which is going to be mounted on the ceiling. Now this is a, a location for an old um, uh, smoke detector that we used to have before we got new ones. And so we change the location of it, but in that regard, we have the Nano HD, and you can see here, 
where the plate actually goes on here and then where this thing actually clips into place where it clicks right there you can see there's a little hole there that you can actually take a little screwdriver stick it so you can actually undo it but for now i can actually reach it with my fingernail to get it out down here is where the cable comes in and so essentially plugs in here i'm going to want it to actually go up into the ceiling about right here which actually correlates to this little notch right there and i can mark it ah you know, on uh, you can see the little block mark right there right about there's where i want it to come and so that's where the hole that i want to place up in the ceiling is going to be so if i take that and i correlate it to this side that way i know exactly where i want it uh, so I can place this up like this, and what I'm actually going to do right now is um, I'm going to center it in the hallway, make sure it's actually centered. So that way it's, uh, and I don't know if they ever did that when they mounted the old guy or not, so let's find out. Because using drywall anchors, I want to make sure that it's nice and firm. So I'm going to drill all four of those holes. Uh, a couple of them are actually close to this other one, so maybe I'm going to back it that way a little bit. But I, yeah, I feel better about that. Because, I mean, I mean, obviously I have old holes here that i got to deal with, so most people probably won't have that. And then the other part, I should have marked that while I was doing it, is right about here. That's where I'm going to want my larger hole for the cable itself. And then make the hole, and then I can go up, basically stick a big rod up there to find it up in the attic, and then pull the wire down. So let me get my drill, and we'll drill the holes and get the anchors in it, and put this in, and be good to go. Most standard drywall anchors, like these that come in the kit, just quarter inch drill bit. So we'll go with that. Then I'll get a larger drill bit for the big one. A 5 16th inch drill bit is plenty big for a Cat6 cable. So that's what I'm going to use. Alright. Get the anchors in real quick. I'm going to go ahead and attach the actual mounting plate right now. Now, I'm going to rub in the attic, I'm going to stick that guy down through, we'll terminate it down here, and then we'll just pop it in and put it in. In order to find that hole up in the attic, because of all the insulation, I'm going to stick this steel rod up in there. Hope it should penetrate through. Hopefully I'll be able to find it up there. Now we just need to terminate this, so give me a few minutes. As always, label. Label your cables. Okay. Let's grab BP. So I was just going to plug it in first. I don't have this uh, connect to the switch yet, so there's no power yet, so uh... So that cable right there, being, being right where it is, is just too close to that, that clip. So I was off in my placement of where I should have gone. Lesson learned. I'm going to try to do it without... If I damage the cable, I'll just re-terminate it because I have plenty of extra up there. But I'm going to try to take a little bit of this so I can actually put that down there by it. Yeah, I didn't even nick the cable. All right. So now I'm off of where that's, that uh, one leg goes. So... If there's one thing 
don't go quite where that is, go off to the side a little bit, or make a bigger hole so you have a little more leeway. Looks good. Setup time. All right, so we're done upstairs with the Nano HD access point. Now we're down here to the rack to get it up and going. And so we have the Dream Machine and the Switch already here to go. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plug well these these two first two ports here that are in yellow. Those are my access points. Now the third one's going to be for a future access point that I'll do later. Um, I have two ready to go. Obviously, this one is going to be on the Nano HD. So we're going to plug my little yellow patch cable here from that port to a powered Ethernet port on the switch, which I'm going to plug it into port 13. That is a power plus one. Uh, and you can see right now, if you can notice that it is amber, that means the AP is booting up. So we're going to give it a few moments, let it boot up fully, and then we'll start the, uh, the setup procedure. So there's what the lights look like when the actual uh, device is connected. You can see the, the orange and then the green. The green is indicating that we have a one gig connection. Okay, so we're gonna open up the Unify Network app, which is the app that we've been using the whole time to set everything up from the Dream Machine to the Switch. And now everything has been plugged in directly into the Dream Machine, so we should actually see this under the devices. So we're gonna come down here to the second tab in down here, which actually looks like the Nano HD. And there it is. UAP Nano HD, automatically connected there. We're gonna click on that guy. Uh, pending adoption, we're gonna go ahead and adopt this guy. Hit the adopt button. And we're gonna hit configure at the top. And now, we can change any of the information here from uh, alias, which is the just the, I guess the information, radios, um, channel, two versus 5G if you want to have both of them on or off or whichever, auto switching between the two, uh, network, wireless uplinks. This is where we're going to do all of our configuration for it. And if we hit the cancel button up here, we'll go back to the main, out of the configure page. And this is where we're going to actually see, um, right now we don't have any clients attached to it, or we haven't really obviously set it up really yet. Um, 2G, 5G radio, wireless LANs, statistics, all this stuff here. Oh, look at that. Eh, something that got delivered. Um, and from in here, we can see the IP address for the actual AP itself. We can see all the information specifically connecting, connected fully at 100 megabits per second. So now that we have the access point attached, now we have to create our wireless network. And so from that, we're going to hit the, the gear icon down here. And in here, this is where we can actually create uh, VLANs. Uh, so if we want to make more LAN networks on our local LAN, the wired networks, we can create separate VLANs for cameras, for you know, for anything you really want to do. Uh, within the Wi-Fi, we can create wireless networks. So we're going to hit Create Wi-Fi Network, Create SSID. So I'm going to put in my SSID, and then I'm going to put in the password that we're going to use, um, or I'm going to use. So give me a moment. So we have our SSID in. We have our security key in. Uh, let's go to Advanced Options. We can actually, uh, you know. We can use VLAN, a specific VLAN for this. We can hide SSIDs if we don't want it to actually broadcast out where you can see it, where you'd have to enter it in manually. We can do that. Um, there's a scheduler for wi uh, wireless LAN, which we I'm going to currently leave disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and save it like this, get that connected. Oh. I'm going to leave that like that and hit get that connected. So now we can actually see our uh, our wireless network there. And uh, from there, we're basically set. So we can go on to step four, which is getting the second access point connected. And then we'll finish up in that next video. So that completes the setup of the Unify Nano HD access point. Uh, so 2.4 uh, gigahertz spectrum, it's a two by two MIMO, uh, five gigahertz, four by four MIMO. And I'm not gonna go into all the specifications, um, but $179 for this X point, very low profile, very small for its disc size and shape, as you can see here from the box. Um, the LED light that is indicator on this does this. So I sold this a day ago. I'm doing these uh, set, these finalized videos here at the end. And the one thing about this guy is that glow 
if you're setting it up in a, in a home environment like I am, even though it's it's designed for a small business environment, me showing it here on the channel, um, that LED is is a pretty bright, bright LED. So if you have all the lights off, it glows pretty good. You can easily turn it off in the app uh, under LED. Uh, under the, the configure for LED. So really easy to make this configured for your home um, or for your, your business, wherever you're going to place this. Um, I've had fantastic coverage for it um, as well as, you know, I have, if you watch the fourth part is the next AP I set up, which is a different AP altogether. Um, so that's the Flex HD, which is coming up next. Um, but yeah, for this, this one is fantastic. If you're going to put it inside, like attached to a ceiling tile, or in, a, in basically a ceiling environment, you can also wall mount it as well. Um, it comes with the parts to do drywall or in concrete, I guess, if you wanted to, or into a ceiling tile. So it's it's all set, all ready to go. Setup was extremely easy. I've got to say, Ubiquity, I did not expect the Unify setup experience to be as easy as it is. It is really easy. If you know how to make an account, you can set this up. Don't feel overwhelmed. This is really easy stuff. And the app experience that they have on this is really good. You know, especially if you can kind of just take your time and find the ins and outs. It works really good. So coming up next is part four. It's going to go on to the setup of the Flex HD, uh, a separate and uh, different indoor and outdoor uh, access point that, Uni that Ubiquity offers in their Unify lineup. So we're going to go into that next. And then at the end, the fifth part, full overview over the entire setup that I did yesterday. So keep that, that's here at the end. So thank you for watching to the end and make sure you go on to the next video, the Flex HD. See what we do with that one. We'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by.